You must be confused which shampoo to use. Some are really damaged your hair. Don't worry. With my medical expertise as a dermatologist, I will show you how you can tailor make your shampoo regime which shampoo at which time. Let's move to today's topic. The list of ingredients is your key to determining which shampoo will leave your hair shiny and manageable. Surfactants form the core of all shampoo. The primary function of surfactants is to remove oils such as sebum and solid particulates from the hair, but they are also important for foaming, building product viscosity, suspending active ingredients, and the solubilization of fragrances. Shampoo formulations normally need both primary and secondary surfactants. The primary surfactants that are most widely used are anionic surfactants. Anionic surfactants are added to shampoos for the purpose of actually cleansing. They remove oil, dirt, sebum, and buildup. I'm going to list all the primary and secondary surfactants down below in the description box so you guys don't have to remember all this, and that way you can go and look at the ingredients on your hair care products. Primary surfactants are going to leave behind a negative charge on the hair, and that negative charge results in a lot of frizz and static in the hair and can lead to breakage itself. So to minimize that, shampoos have secondary surfactants. These help with improving hair manageability. They're anti-static agents, but they're added to help buffer against the issues that may happen with the cleansing that goes on from the anionic surfactant. The role of secondary surfactants is then usually to boost the effects of the primary surfactants in the directions required for a specific product. For example, many secondary surfactants boost foam or make the shampoo milder to the scalp and eyes. Secondary surfactants that are most widely used include mainly amphoteric and non-ionic surfactants. Check the list below. Non-anionic surfactants that are listed on the ingredients merely means the shampoo has other surfactants that do not cleanse. These other surfactants are for things rather than cleansing that offer manageability and softness but don't remove oil, dirt, sebum, and buildup. Amphoteric surfactants have wonderful lathering ability. They don't sting, they foam really well, and they leave the hair very manageable, but it's not truly cleansing your hair. Let's look at clarifying shampoo. This is a shampoo that contains surfactants that will remove buildup from your hair shaft. It's intended to be used once a week and is ideal for people who use a lot of hair care products like gel sprays. It's important because those products that are used for styling lead to a pretty thick buildup on the hair shaft that, with time, can contribute to weighing down of the hair, breakage, split ends, and frizz. It can make hair not so manageable and prone to tingling. Knowing all this, let's see what we can use. Neutrogena Anti-Residue Shampoo and Paul Mitchell Clarifying Shampoo. These products actually work really well for removing product buildup on the hair. You only want to use this once a week. You don't really want to use daily or your hair will become very unmanageable, but using it once a week will help keep your hair healthy. Neutrogena T-Cell Shampoo has the salicylic acid at 3% strength as its active ingredient. Salicylic acid will help oily build up on the hair shafts and the scalp with greasy hair. This will really be helpful for your hair shafts if you have dandruff. It's free of added fragrance. It's a really good shampoo to use once a week. What are the shampoos that can be for hair manageability purposes? Privé Everyday Shampoo can be used as daily shampoo because it has more secondary surfactants. We hope that you gained good knowledge about shampoo and how to select a shampoo according to your needs. You can watch our video on hair coloring and straightening as well. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye.